SpongeBob. Bracket Fights is a little newer, so it's uh might not have it, but it looks like they have it. Oh my what the hell is this? Oh my god. Okay. SpongeBob Worm versus Popsicle. I mean, I'm pretty sure the worm would fucking destroy it. This is just like a hand puppet. No, nah, the fucking worm. You think the puppet's gonna win? I can finally finish my top 10 hottest sponge girls list. Ew! What is that? That's disgusting. I haven't seen that episode. I'm pretty sure the hand would win like almost anything, right? The hand literally is like breaking the fourth wall. It could just come in and do anything. It could delete the whole world. It's basically God in, in, in SpongeBob terms. Larry the Lobster versus Mom and Dad. I guess I'm 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 picking these based on who would win in a fight. So Larry the Lobster would kick the fuck out of Mom and Dad. I mean, old bag of bones. What the hell is this? I haven't watched newer SpongeBob. This is a fucking monstrosity. Who thought this was a good idea? Are you fucking kidding me? Who thought that was a good idea? That is an embarrassment. That is an embarrassment to the old SpongeBob. I'm picking this guy, he looks more buff. Well, this is like an old man, and this guy's like really buff. I don't I don't recognize these characters, but this guy must be better. What are these characters? This is like a, a boss, like middle-aged boss. Yeah, new SpongeBob is a nightmare. I, I watched like seasons one through three, maybe the fourth season as well, but I stopped kind of watching after that. I don't know. I think a robot is probably stronger than like an old fish. Okay, I know this guy. These guys looks like look like they would just give up. They'd be pacifists anyway. This guy would just sit on you. Oh, okay. A seahorse or like a spatula robot? This thing could maybe like cut you. I feel like you could just snap its legs pretty easy. It doesn't look like it has a lot of strength behind it. I think I go for mystery. Okay, parrot. Or Bubble Buddy. Well, this thing dies with a needle, so I mean, kind of a useless character. The fuck is that? Is that like a crocodile? What is, is that? Abominable crabs? The SpongeBob manga really went down. Yeah, these both look terrible. I don't know. Is Mr. Krabs naked here? That's kind of hot. I'm gonna pick that. Okay, Barnacle Boy versus like cool soul fish. Barnacle Boy's, like, really weak. Like, Mermaid Man's always doing all the shit. And Barnacle Boy, like, doesn't he, like, really suck? Like, can he even do anything? What is Barnacle Boy's power again? I don't even remember. What is Barnacle Boy's power? What is Barnacle Boy's power? Barnacle Boy, superhero wiki. His name is Tim? What a boring name. Okay. Powers. Underwater ad adap adaptation? Yeah, I mean he he's underwater. I mean that's just like default for any of them. Ability is to throw balls of concentrated water. That's his power? He can throw water underwater? That's fucking that's terrible. I have to pick this guy because fuck it sucks. How much are you regretting your choices? I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a big time left, isn't it? Oh, okay. This guy is stronger. This is a nerd. He plays D&D &D or something. Okay, burger guy versus creepy clown? Imagine if you could throw balls of concentrated air. Well, it said water, so it's like... It's like a it's like a, the ability of a water balloon, but you're underwater, so it's useless. I wonder when Steven Hillenberg stopped working on the show. Yeah, I don't know. I know that SpongeBob changed its like entire writer room, writers room. Like it changed the writers and the directors and everybody in like season four or five, I want to say. And that's when a lot of people like think it went downhill, you know. Um, but that's just uh, that's just what people say. SpongeBob, one of the greatest and most attractive characters ever thought of. He can run at sound speed. <laughs> Did you just go and like listen to my video and fucking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cursed. Uh, I pick clown. 
didn't he stop after the first spongebob movie yeah i think that's where everybody should have stopped right after the first spongebob movie that's that's all you need the hell is are these dude i mean this guy's really buff that's just a weird worm i guess this guy what is that the the drasticals versus okay well these are like old people but this guy doesn't doesn't look like he'd win any fights he looks like he's gonna fall he's got a big dumpy though i'll vote for him for the big dumpy oh okay well i think a car would just run this guy over so what the hell is that? That is disgusting. Thank you, Angry Juice, for the tier one. I'm adding a minute. You, you, it's gonna get below four thousand. It's gonna get below four thousand. Um. Oh God. Oh no, Angry Juice just gifted another one. He gifted another one. Add a minute. Um. I didn't miss one. <laughs> This Patrick looks disgusting. I think this guy's got something up his sleeve. Oh no, I don't think I can handle this stream going below 66 minutes. Is that what that is? Is 4,000 seconds 66 minutes? Oh no. Okay, a ghost, that's an ethereal being. How would a mailman defeat a fucking ghost? The mailman is not strong. Ah, that's like a literal monster. I mean, that is SpongeBob, but he honestly, I, I, I think SpongeBob's not that strong. Like, the, like a gorilla rips him in half in one episode, so I, I think I'd pick this thing. It's like literally a monster. That's just SpongeBob in a fucking outfit. You can't fucking trick me. That's not a disguise. That's still SpongeBob. However, Plankton is very weak and loses constantly all the time. Do I have piercings or sick tats? I actually have no piercings and no tattoos, and I've never had one. I've, I've contemplated getting tattoos. I think it would be kind of cool to have arm tattoos. Like arm sleeves, but uh, I've never done it because I'm scared I would regret it. Tattoo sub goal? No, <laughs> no. Yeah, for 1,000 subs, big chungus tattoo. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, old crabs would probably just fall over and die. Barry, I would get matching tattoos with you. Yeah, I would do it. 1,000 subs for Komodo hype tattoo. I would maybe do that. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not. I, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, this guy is very creep, creepy looking. This guy looks big. I pick him. What the hell is that? Oh, those are. That thing on the left is terrifying. What is that? Is it quap time? Oh, is it? Did we reach 75? It's. Does it say 70? What does that say? Oh, this is 75. Okay. We did reach Quop. I'll, I'll finish the SpongeBob and then I'll do the Quop. <sighs> That's actually like a bad character design. The colors are so bad. It's really, really weird. It looks like it would probably defeat the old farmer though, but he does have a pitchfork. Maybe he could just crack the glass. I'm voting for the farmer because I don't want to see that ever again. Ugh, caveman SpongeBob. This guy's tough. I mean, he works at the tough saloon, right? Pretty sure he'd win. I'm serious, I'll pay you a thousand gift subs right now if you get a big chungus tattoo. Are you fucking insane? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Why would I do that? It's like life ruining. Where would I put it, though? I'd make it so he's like coming out of my ass. Like like coming out of my like crack, you know what I mean? That'd be pretty funny. Um, The Flying Dutchman would win. I mean, he's, he's a pretty badass character. That is literally just a giant monster. That thing would kill everybody. Armpit? I'm pretty sure you die if you tattoo your armpit, don't you? Isn't that like the most one of those sensitive part like areas of your body? Um Gary the snail, I think, has a little bit of a hidden potential. I think people underestimate him, but he's got something hidden there. Do you see that episode where in Gary's dream? When they go into Gary's dream and he's like a fucking super genius? I don't know. Gary's hiding something. It's a lot of power there. Um, this guy is probably stronger than the old man. Ugh! Why did they do this? Why did they make that? You didn't have to make that. I mean, it looks like it would win. Okay, definitely the hand. Larry the lobster. I think buff guy just rips that in half. I think this guy just sits on the fucking donkey. Sea donkey. 
Abominable Crabs. This guy. This guy is more ripped than the clown. I, th I think the clown would be kind of creepy, though. Might startle some folks. Car just runs guy over. Ghost beats Karate Master. This is a literal monster from some kind of hell world. I think the sea lion's buff enough to win. I think um, this guy's a mom tattoo, and that means a lot to me. Giant squirrel. Gary. Hand. Flat fish. Uh, abominable crabs. Car runs people over. Oh, God, this was so fucking disgusting. Everything was fucking gross. Okay, fucking sea lion. Uh, Gary. Gary, I think, wins. Gary, I'm just telling you, hidden potential there. Hand. Car. Runs it over. Creepy demon fish. Gary. <laughs> Tanya Irons, thank you for the tier one. Adding a minute, there you go. Oh, God. Okay, the hand versus the car. This is the matchup that people have been waiting for. You've heard of Naruto versus Sasuke. You've heard of Goku versus Vegeta. But have you heard of hand versus car? Oh, man, that's tough. I think the the hand could just come in and pick up the car and just put it off the screen, right? So I think the hand wins. Okay, creepy fish versus Gary. I think Gary, I'm straight up, I think Gary could get behind it and suplex it. I don't know. Gary is like a demigod. Hand versus Gary. Oh, Jesus. Unfortunately, I think that Gary beats most creatures, but Hand, I think, can come in and just take Gary out of the frame. I mean, do we... Do we really want to make Gary the demigod of, of the stream? I mean... Gary actually defeated that weird monster in the episode? Are you serious? Oh my god. I, like, know more Spongebob lore than I realized. Gary the Unbeaten. Hmm... I, ugh, I'm sorry, I think the hand just takes Gary out. I know that a lot of people believe in the Gary. Oh god, there's more. Fuck, I thought I was done. This guy would fucking lose to my pinky finger. Bingo, thank you for the sub. Adding a minute. There you go. This guy is pretty jacked. I think he's pretty strong from the SpongeBob movie. Computers are weak. Humans always win. Don't clip that and show that to a computer in 2040. This is literally like just a spine. It's so gross. It's a literal human. He draws the fucking comic. Um, oh god. The fuck is this? This is just. Uh, I think this is stronger, unfortunately. Isn't this guy really strong or something? Like, he, he beats people up? Ooh, Bubble Bass. Or, wait, Bubble. Ba bass, but. Bu bubble Bass. Is this guy's name Bubble Bass? Or is this guy's name Bubble Bass? No, that's just the bubble. It's bubble versus bubble bass. Oh, God. Oh, my brain is melting. So, bubble bass versus bubble. Bubble ass, bubble. I think bubble. I think I picked bubble on that, unfortunately. Um, I'm losing my... Oh, it's the gorilla! He's so strong! You were Spongebob and app! Oh, it's so handsome, Nigel Thornberry, Patrick... That is a monster. Sandy Cheeks knows karate. That is a squid, and squids are weak. Buff whale. Hippie Squidward is kind of a vibe. That's kind of who... That's what I want to look like when I'm like 60. I want to look like Hippie Squidward. 420 squid. I mean, this is a grandma, so you have to vote for this. Um... I think she's weak. I think Patrick beats her. 100%. I had nightmares about the gorilla as a kid. Dude, it was scary. It just came in and ripped SpongeBob in half. Mick Blondie, thank you for the tier one. I'm adding a minute. Thank you. Three monkeys versus Squidward. I think the monkeys easily take him. They rip his fucking tentacles off. This guy, the chocolate guy, was a fucking threat to society. They should lock that guy up in maximum security prison. Doodlebot was fucking terrifying. That shit is terrifying. Is that Tom and Jerry? What the hell? They put Tom in this? What? Does he make sense? It would just drown. I guess that's what he's doing, right? He's drowning. <laughs> Wouldn't he just die? He'd just easily outlast it. I think a, a whale would defeat a, like a tiny fish. I think, I'm pretty sure it could eat it. What the hell is that? 
What is that? Why are they combined like that? Squilliam just knows big words. I mean, I think this thing would probably defeat it. Um, This guy looks like he's got some pep in his step. Like, he's doing some meth. Those people have powers. Pickle is a loser. Punished crabs would win. I think crabs has it in him. If this guy... This guy is a threat to his... You know, if crabs dies... Then that's all he wants. He wants to be alive and make money. I think he has it in him to defeat the reporter fish. Santa Claus, I didn't know he was in the show, but I guess he is. He's like an ethereal being. I, I think he would win. What is this, Neptune versus, like, dojo fish? I guess this. Oh, God, only 62 minutes left. The final hour? The final hour? Dollar bill versus fish with flamethrower. I mean, he has a fucking flamethrower. It would just burn it. Although, now that I think... Well, now that I think about it, how, how would fire work underwater? That is... That actually makes me want to puke. That actually makes me want to vomit. That, I legitimately want to vomit. This guy is a literal god. It's Poseidon. Rock versus... What is that? I'm voting the rock because I don't want to ever see that again. I'm sorry. This guy is weak, but that is just a bunny. I'm just going to probably take it. I take it on. Okay, this guy wins. A human wins. This wins. Gorilla easily wins. Gorilla can just rip things in half. It's the ultimate strategy. She's got like a gun or something, so I've, I'll vote for Sandy Cheeks. Buff Whale, 100%. Three monkeys. Should I d be disappointed in myself that I know all these characters? I guess you shouldn't be disappointed. It just means that you're like 16 years old, right? How old are you, Trinity? Because, <laughs> like, I didn't fucking watch Spongebob past, like, season four. Yeah, maybe it means you're based. You're 19 and you've watched all these? Really? I guess you just watched it later than me. I mean, you're a little bit younger as well, but... Um... Doodle Bob is really strong. That thing could just erase things from existence. A whale would definitely win against Grandma. I don't... I Honestly, I don't know, like, 80% of these, I would say. I thought I knew more about Spongebob, honestly. Yeah, this is a tough one, guys. This is a tough one. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think these things look like they got something in them. It's crabs versus punished crabs, dude. Holy shit. I think punished is... is He's stronger. Santa would win. I mean, it's like... It's like a... I mean, this is a god. A god would win. I think this thing would lose to a rock, honestly. Okay, human would win. Gorilla wins. There's a lot of strong creatures on this side. I think Sandy Cheeks has been shown to be strong. Doodle Bob erases the monkeys from existence. Whale is gigantic. Tainted crabs. Fuck it, I pick him. And a lit literal god. Okay, this is tough. I think that... So, the interesting thing here is look at the scale, all right? SpongeBob is tiny compared to the pirate, whereas SpongeBob was about the same size as the monkey. And so, I think monkey is, like, not that big in, uh, in human terms. And so, I think that the human is actually going to win there, just based on size. DoodleBob would erase Sandy from existence. Punished crabs. I think the way he wouldn't be able to kill his own daughter is as much as he's been through, as much as he's seen, he wouldn't be able to kill his own daughter. Wait, what the fuck? Who's this guy? We haven't seen him before. What the hell? Where did he fucking sneak up? In? What the fuck? What did he sneak up in here? I think the god wins. This is tough. I think the human created Doodle Bob, and Doodle Bob has not been shown to erase humans. So I picked the human. Patchy wins. I picked Patchy? Hello? Oh, God. Did it glitch? Okay. A literal what? god wins. Two, thank you for the sub. Adding a minute. Hey, chat. Hey! Okay. Poseidon versus human. I mean, if we're going off of Poseidon's lore in, like, you know, Greek mythology, then Poseidon is pretty strong. Soaked Ben, thank you for the sub. Adding a minute. 
Patchy, though, it, it said, yeah, you think he has god powers in, in Spongebob land? I kind of think you're right. He literally creates Spongebob, and Poseidon is a cartoon. I think that, that Patchy wins. And then Hand. Mm. I think Patchy could defeat the Hand. I think Patchy is literally the strongest. He is the person with the Hand. I think that's his Hand. Yeah, okay, Patchy the Pirate is the strongest character in the Spongebob universe. We, de we decided it. Yeah, he can move through dimensions in the SpongeBob universe. That's actually insane. He won. All right, I'm gonna piss again because my bladder is so fucking small. 